Okay, so editor word separators. So characters that will be used as word separators when doing word related navigations or operations. And this is most prominent when you're selecting words. For example, if I double click this word, word separators, it's only going to select this. But if I remove this dot from here and I do it again, now it doesn't separate the word. It's going to select everything because the only separators we have here are the um, uh, double quotes, right? So let's add the dot. So now we just, the word is being separated by those two characters. So in this case would be the dot and the double quotes. Um, now a word separator that I don't enjoy having too much is the dash or the minus or whatever you want to call this character. Because usually when you're doing, um, when you're writing classes in HTML, uh, sometimes you have like button primary or something like that, right? And if you select, you want to select the whole class, but you can't because it's being separated by that character. Now, if you remove it, now you can. When you select, you select the whole thing. And um, usually it's just, um, this happens a lot. I mean, this is an example here. Um, this also uh, happens with um, CSS properties, as you can see. But so it's, you know, it's, it's common throughout, especially when you're using, when you're um, uh, programming in uh, HTML and CSS. This is the uh, font awesome. This is a font awesome class. And obviously I don't want to select only the FA or only the star, I want to select the whole thing. So the only change that I would, ma I would make here is removing that, uh, that minus character there so that you can select whole um, properties in CSS or whole uh, CS, uh, um, whole classes.